Hey guys, Brad Tunar here, creator and one of the developers of Migrate DB Pro. So I just want to give you guys a little screencast here to show you a little demo of Migrate DB Pro. So let's take a look at this screen here. We've got two tabs. We've got on the left, we've got my dev environment. It's uh, my blog running on a MAMP install. So dev.bradt.ca. And in the right tab, we've got the live site, bratty.ca, that's currently live. And you'll notice that there's differences between the two. There's a new, newer post on the live site. So you'll see here the latest post is April 29th on the dev environment. And on the live site, we've got June 6th, so a new post has been added. And you'll see that the spam comments uh, are different as well. And uh, just the number of overall comments are quite different. And you'll also notice in the sidebar here that on the dev environment, there, the search plugin is, has been disabled uh, in the dev environment, as well as the Amazon SES plugin. So you'll see the SES stats menu item is missing in the dev environment. And so let's, let's update our dev environment with the latest database from the live site. So the first thing I do is I go to tools, Migrate DB Pro on my dev site. And you'll see I've got a bunch of migration profiles already kind of pre-saved here and pre-configured pre and saved here. But let's start fresh. And so the first thing we do is we select pull. So what we want to do is we want to pull the data and the database structure and everything down to the dev environment from the live site. So we need the connection info for the live site. So let's head over to the live site tab and go to tools, migrate DB pro and go to settings and we copy this connection info. Now, when you first do this, this, this checkbox will probably be unchecked. And this is, this is the checkbox that allows pull requests on the live site. So let's just uncheck that and try to enter the connection info, see what happens. So let's paste the connection info in and you'll see we get a you know, connection rejected message. And so if we go back to the live site and we check that off and we allow pull requests and we hit connect again, you'll see it connects fine. And the find and replaces are already filled pre-filled out, so it's going to replace all instances of bradt.ca with dev.bradt.ca, and it's going to replace our file paths as well. And we can add additional uh, replaces if we like here, but I won't bother. Uh, for tables, I do want to exclude some tables. So what I'm going to do here is all the search WP tables are a little bit big, so I'm going to select those, and then I'm going to invert the selection so that will only migrate all the other tables uh, except search WP's tables. And post types, I could exclude some post types, but I'll leave them all, that's fine. And advanced options here, so we don't want to migrate the spam comments, there's no point in doing that. And we don't want to migrate the active plugins setting. So we want to keep the plugins that are activated or deactivated. We want to keep that the same on the dev environment. So I don't want the Amazon SES plugin activated. I don't want search WP activated on the dev environment. And uh, by default, exclude transients, just temporary cache data. It's really no point in migrating that either. And uh, let's skip the backup option we don't really need to back up and we're not going to bother saving a migration profile so let's run this migration and as you see here it's starting to run and we get a nice progress report and we can pause the migration at this point and you know i could close my laptop up right now and put it to sleep and then wake it up later and and resume this and uh, so we'll let this continue and uh, we'll come back to it in a minute. So you can see that we're finishing up here and there we go. So it's taken just under a minute and a half to migrate. It's about 30 megabytes of data that we just migrated. So pretty tiny. And so it didn't take very long. So if we compare the two 
installs now. So if I go to the dashboard again on the dev environment and uh, let's go to the dashboard on the live site as well, you'll see that the, the post has been updated but you'll see that the two plugins that are disabled that we identified earlier, the Amazon SES and the, the search WP plugins, those ones are, uh, sta they remained disabled on the dev environment, which is nice. And you'll see the spam comments have not been migrated. We're still, you know, there's 605 uh, in the spam queue on the live site and those, there's nothing on the local site. So that's, that's good as well. So that's a little demo of MigrateDB Pro.